Howdy, y'all. Joe Hills here, recording as I was doing in Nashville, Tennessee. And some of you guys may remember that I recently planted some rubber trees down here, and they're not growing fast enough. Now, I don't have a lot of bone meal, but I've heard about a, a magical special item called a torturino. And so I'm going to make this, and I'm going to make like three more of these. And uh, then I'm going to use these in order to like speed up time. Not like the way I normally do with time skips, but by like surrounding these around a torch. And then I can make this, and then the tree should grow faster. Let's go see if that actually works. Presumably, anything that's near this is supposed to like start having higher tick rates. Is it working? Oh, well, it might not work because the tree can't grow at night in a dark area anyway. Oh, and zombies can attack me in a dark area anyway. Zombie, you're dead. You're dead to me. You're dead to everyone. You will not be remembered. In fact, I might even edit out that part of the video so no one around here will ever see you or think of you again. Goodbye, zombie. So let's see if this Torturino is doing its job. I actually don't know. Uh, radius plus one. So, is that good? Do I need to, like... Oh, there we go. Great. So then I just plant that there. And we can just... Well, okay, so we want to have 400% increase. And we probably want to have some light on this. For the same reason that we did last time with the other one. So that should make this tree grow four times faster than it would normally. Now I think normally it would grow in several minutes, so this might not be as dramatic as I'd like. Oh, there it is! It just wasn't in the radius. So then we'll go over to this rubber tree, and we'll do something similar. We'll light it up, and then we'll torch light it up, set in the radius, and the speed. Oh, boom. Check that out. That cost me a little bit of gold, but I mean, I can basically grow anything super fast from now on. Now, some of you guys are going to say, Joe, why aren't you tapping those trees immediately? And the answer is because it's terrifying and the night is dark. But let's go ahead and take this Torturino here. And let's say that I wanted to do something else. Let's say I wanted to like cook some stuff. Uh, real quick. Let's see. I've got... Uh, let's not cook anything radioactive. That's going to be expensive. Uh, copper ore. So, if I put copper ore right here, and then I put the Torturino down. Boom! Look at that. That's just blazing through there. It's just... T basically, everything in here is getting more ticks from the server than it normally would get. So then I can drop this copper in over here. Now that's just blazing right through. This this is a, something that's basically free. Like, I mean, I paid for the gold up front, but as long as I don't die with this on me... Now, it's not really free, because it actually does uh, use a lot more CPU as server resources. But, on the other hand, it's really neat, and I like it. So, as long as I'm... All, you can't leave it turned on when you're not there. But, like, let's say, for example, we've got... Well, you guys know the deal. It's just going to make the wheat grow faster. You don't care. Let's just pick up some of the wheat anyway, because I want it. I was going to make some, uh, what do you call it, dough? And then, like, you can use dough to just cook bread directly, but you can also make all these other cakes and stuff, like pizzas, baguettes, and, I don't know, all sorts of cool stuff. But anyway, that is your rapid-fire introduction to the Torturino. Now that we've got the Torturino together, though, let's grab our tree tap. And run down here. The real trick is to end up under a tree so when you bounce, you don't bounce as high. I'm getting used to these. These boots are amazing. They don't take any damage on falling. And believe me, I fall a lot because I live in a sky castle and then I jump out of the sky castle. Whether I intend to or not, it's really kind of nice. Okay, so here we go. I hear an Enderman. Well, I don't see him, so I'm sure it's fine. As long as I don't look at him, it doesn't matter if he sees me, I think. So we're probably all in the clear on that. Okay, so there we go. A little bit more rubber. A little bit... Ooh, wow, more rubber trees. I wonder when that will come in handy. Maybe the next time I need to show off my Torturino at night to zombies. 
Let's see. We can just go ahead and hit this and hit this. And whoa, there we go. Rubber for days. Speaking of rubber for days, actually, let's go ahead and plant more of these uh, rubber trees so that we actually do have rubber in the coming days. And I mean, I, I could really actually do the torch for nothing. Right now, that's a creeper. Hello, a creeper. Goodbye, creeper, my young friend. I will escape from you again. Though you crept up without warning. I've got a ladder that built some morning. Okay, so where were we? And the creeper didn't get to eat our faces up with explosions. Or blow us up. Oh, we don't really cook things in there. We cook things in here. You know, this is still pretty fast, even without the Torturino. Like, in the amount of time it'll take me to get the Torturino out. Set it. Well, it's still faster. Okay. So then, boom. And done. Great. So, we can just toss this in here. And grab us some of this copper cable. Now, some of you guys are probably like, Joe, what, what do you need all this copper cable for? Well, we need to make a generator that generates EU, because otherwise we can't make an industrial smelter to get the steel that we need to make the cables that we need. It really seems like there should be some sort of cheaper conduit than the Ender IO conduit. Let me check. I'm, I'm a little... Eh, energy conduit? Insulated redstone conduit? Yeah, there might just not be a cheaper conduit. That's really frustrating. Because, like, the fact that this requires conductive iron and conduit binder, and you can only get conductive iron in an alloy smelter. Oh, wait, maybe we should just make this one. We should make this one and not the other thing. That still actually seems easier than the other. Does What kind of, uh, what kind of energy does an alloy smelter use? Does, that might let me bypass a lot of this. Well, it needs a machine chassis, a cauldron, a bunch of iron. I mean, uh, copper ingot. Yeah, I could make one of these basic capacitors. You know, it's, it's fairly straightforward. So then, I, let's see, I need a furnace. Okay, so I'm missing three furnaces, a cauldron, which I'm missing one iron on. Dang it, because I turned it all into other stuff. Tin dust. Yeah, yeah, okay. I am going to be short on iron. So, this episode may end up being a mining episode. Or maybe I should just end things here and say special thanks to our pal, the Torturino, because you got us so far, so fast, that we don't have the materials we need to move forward. So let's just take the Torturino here, back out of there, and I was going to say put it on display somehow, but instead I think I just literally lost it in a box somewhere. There it is. Okay. Is there anything else we could rapidly torture Reno just to close out the episode? Well, how about that wheat? Until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring. Man, that's so fast.